Okay, listen up. While everyone's busy drooling over Samsung's upcoming foldables, something else has been quietly bubbling behind the scenes, and it's about to make some serious noise. Yep, I'm talking about the Galaxy Watch 8 series. And trust me, it's not just a mere refresh. Samsung might actually be taking risks this time. We just dug through the latest One UI 8 watch firmware, and let's just say, the leaks are getting juicy. But before the deep dive into the video, a quick reality check, over 98% of you watching right now aren't subscribed. That's wild. Hitting that button doesn't just grow this channel, it genuinely keeps me motivated to keep digging, scripting, and dropping the best leaks and updates before anyone else. If you've made it this far, chances are, you're into it. So, why not make it official? Thanks, and let's dive in. Remember those early whispers about a new squircle design? You know, not quite a circle, not quite a square? Turns out that quirky icon shape might become the actual look of the Watch 8 series. Imagine a watch that's still got the round display vibe but wrapped in a slightly squared off body. Strange, maybe, but also kind of futuristic. Think Watch Ultra meets Geometry Class. From what's inside the firmware of the Galaxy Watch 8 is rocking the codename Fresh 8, and the classic model is Wise 8. No Watch Ultra sequel in sight just yet, but the OG Ultra is still being referred to as Project X2, so it's very much part of the upcoming family. And the animations. Oh, they're giving us even more clues. The buttons have been reshaped slightly, the bezels look cleaner, and even the charging animation has been given a glow up. The standard Watch 8 keeps its two-button layout, but the classic might sneak in a third button. No flashy orange like the Ultra, but still pretty slick. Now for the part longtime fans will love, the rotating bezel might be making a comeback on the classic. No visuals to confirm just yet, but reliable sources are backing it. If it's true, that's a big win for anyone who prefers flicking through menus with a satisfying twist instead of swiping like a maniac. And if you want some hard evidence this thing is on the way, here it is. The Galaxy Watch 8 has officially landed in the FCC database. That's as close to a we're getting it soon as you can get. Model numbers SML335F and SML335U are confirmed, along with support for Bluetooth 5.3 LE, NFC, advanced LT bands, and some upgraded Wi-Fi sauce. Oh, and yes, it's keeping support for the EPL300 wireless charger. But the Watch 8 isn't just keeping up, it's stepping up. We're talking 10-watt wireless charging, finally, and a battery bump from 425 million pair hour to 435 million pair hour. Not massive, but hey, one more hour of life during a late night scroll, we'll take it. But here's the feature that really grabbed my attention, something called the antioxidant index, just showed up in the software. Sounds like science fiction, but the idea is simple. It could measure your body's antioxidant levels like beta carotene through the back sensor. Place your thumb, get a health reading, feel like Iron Man. All integrated into Samsung Health, of course. This might be exclusive to the newer watches, the Watch 7, Ultra, and probably the Watch 8, so don't expect it to show up on older models. And that's not all. One UI is packing. We're getting a new battery protection mode, customizable shortcuts app, randomized watch faces, and support for the slick new now bar interface. Samsung is going all in this time, a bold new look smarter health tools, and even some fan-favorite features making a return. All signs point to a big reveal around July, so yeah, it's almost time. So what do you think? Loving this Squircle aesthetic? Excited for the bezel twist comeback? Or just here for the next level health features? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This channel's where you'll catch all the Watch 8 news first, and your support is what keeps the leaks flowing. Thanks for hanging out, I'll see you in the next one.